Hey everybody, welcome back for another gunslinging, sidewinding, mad panic review where today we are taking a look at a game that flew under my radar for quite a long time until I played some of Natsume's other modern remakes of their SNES games and that's Wild Guns Reloaded on the Nintendo Switch. Full disclosure, before this review I'd actually never played the original Wild Guns. It wasn't a popular title upon its initial release, and by the time I became interested in retro game collecting, it was already a pretty rare and expensive game, but after playing Pocky and Rocky Reshrined and Ninja Saviors, both remakes of 16-bit Natsume games that were great to begin with and becoming more familiar with other Natsume games and just how good they are. I thought it was about time to go back and give this game a try and I am so glad that I did. So let's take a closer look and see what makes Wild Guns Reloaded such a rootin' tootin' good time. Wild car, bitches! Yeah! Essentially, Wild Guns Reloaded does the same thing that the other Natsume remakes do. It takes the core gameplay of its 16-bit counterpart and expands upon it while also giving the visuals and sound design a big boost. In the original Wild Guns, you had two playable characters to choose from, with two-player co-op available, and it played as basically a big shooting gallery with your characters in the foreground, shooting enemies and objects in the background. It's a gameplay style that was established in games like Cabal, Nam 1975, and The Punisher on the NES, but you could argue that at the time, Wild Guns was the best game yet to implement this gameplay style. It was fun, challenging, and the blend of a Wild West setting with futuristic robots and weaponry was something very novel at the time. Throw in some nice visuals, and a great soundtrack, and what you have is, to use a cliché, a hidden gem of an SNES game, or at least it was in 1994. Now, as for Wild Guns Reloaded, this game is a perfect example of how to update a 16-bit classic. I said when I reviewed Pocky and Rocky Reshrined that it might be the best modern retro update ever, but that was before I played this game. The core gameplay really hasn't been changed much. You're still blasting away at a legion of enemies, including bandits, outlaws, and giant robots, but this time around you have four playable characters to choose from. Clint and Annie return from the original game, but now we also have the pleasure of playing as Bullets, a small dog that's accompanied by an attack drone, and Doris, a full-figured gal who prefers to toss explosives at her targets. And instead of two-player co-op, we are treated to up to four players at a time, and this makes for some extremely fun and very frantic gameplay. Bullets, bombs, and laser lassos fill the screen as each player tries to destroy as much as possible while dodging a swarm of bullets. And that's not even mentioning the boss battles which have you going head to head with some massive robots wielding some serious firepower. But luckily you have a ton of weapons at your disposal including shotguns, grenade launchers, and laser beams and when all else fails, a little bit of dynamite usually does the trick. So just going on the gameplay alone, Wild Guns Reloaded far surpasses its predecessor in every way possible, but that's not all. The graphics have also gotten an overhaul to give the game a much more detailed look without losing that retro feel, again in the same vein as the other modern Natsume games. 
It doesn't lose what made Wild Guns an appealing looking game in the first place, but the added detail, color, and animations make this one of the better looking modern retro remakes I've ever played, and the cherry on top of this kick-ass cowboy and robot Sunday is the soundtrack, which again was already great in its 16-bit iteration, but in my opinion the updated version just blows it out of the water. These songs really do sound especially good when you throw some screaming guitars into the mix, mashing up speed metal with just a hint of Old West twang. A nice bonus though is that if you prefer the 16-bit sound, both versions are available in the options menu. So when you blend beautiful visuals and an ass-kicking, high-energy soundtrack with some frantic, challenging, and extremely fun gameplay, what you get is an instant classic, and I'm just sorry it took me so long to get around to playing it. It's Wild Guns Reloaded, and it's awesome. There you go, everybody. That's my little review of Wild Guns Reloaded. Uh, it only took me uh, six years to get around to it. Uh, so I hope everyone enjoyed it. Uh, it's a great game. Definitely go out of your way to play it if you haven't already. Uh, the same with those other Natsume remakes I mentioned. Pocky and Rocky, Reshrined, and Ninja Saviors. I've already reviewed those games, so go watch them if you haven't already. Shameless plug. Uh, and another Natsume game is coming up. Another ninja game. Ninja something or other. I think in Japan it's called Kage. Um, but there's another Natsume remake coming, so that's pretty cool. So I'm definitely going to play that one after playing all of these. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments. What do you think of Wild Guns Reloaded, if you've played it already? What do you think of the other Natsume remakes? And are there any other games of this style? The shooting gallery kind of gameplay, because I really do like it. I've liked every game that I've played like this. Nam 1975 probably being my favorite. But are there any other games in this vein that you think I'd enjoy playing? Be, uh, be sure, you know, feel free. Recommend those in the comments because I always like getting game recommendations for stuff that I might have fun with. Uh, so that's it, everyone. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll come back for the next review here on Mad Panic Gaming. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.